So I was taking a look at the beta version of Ubuntu 18.04, which is codenamed Bionic Beaver. I'm sorry if I sound a bit under the weather here. I've been battling a cold for the past couple of days, so I'm going to try and make this a short and simple video. But I was interested to see there was a minimal installation option on the installer. Wow, so this will only install a minimal desktop environment with browser and utilities. So those of you who've been watching my channel for some time know I've been a massive fan of KDE Neon, and that is, in part, because of its simplicity. You get the most basic of utilities, and you can put on whatever you want onto the system. So I know we have the legacy wallpaper at the moment, but this is actually Ubuntu 1804, and this is the selection of applications that you get. Not even enough to fill a whole screen. Okay, maybe it is enough to fill the whole screen if you open up the utilities. Yeah, that's it. Um, but in actually looking at what's running, it doesn't look quite that simple as I, well, quite as simple as I would have expected. Well, let's start with running my favourite command, the free memory usage. Wow, 739 meg of RAM in use. Although I have allocated this virtual machine 16 gig of RAM, so all things relative. I would still say that's quite chunky though. KDE is generally well below that in a similar like-for-like -like virtual machine. But looking at the applications running on top, um, so let's go full screen on this so you can see. To be honest, actually I could switch to the GUI method here. Yeah. Okay, I, I, will, I will actually switch to the GUI method because you have now seen what the memory usage is. Just to confirm we are actually running Ubuntu 1804 Bionic Beaver. I'm not sure I can get used to these close, minimize, and maximize buttons being on the other side again, or the application launcher being at the bottom of the screen. But anyway, those complaints aside, let's get the system monitor up and running. Right, so we have Evolution on here Evolution Calendar Factory, Evolution Address Book, which is strange considering Evolution is not actually installed. So perhaps this so called minimal system is not actually as minimal as it necessarily is shows on the installer. It still has quite a few things pre-installed on here. Now it may be that these extra utilities and programs running on here do make the overall system a lot simpler to get up and running. Perhaps that is the case. I would admit on KD Neon it can be very difficult to get up and running, especially with the driver installer since you actually have to go and manually install the drivers. But all things aside, it is very interesting to see that option. Uh, just looking at the memory processor usage here, yeah, as we can see, it is still quite large. Look, we've crept up to one gig already. Uh, everything else that's on here kind of seems to be running as I would expect. Oh, look, we still get the Amazon launcher. <laughs> yeah, you know what, Canonical could still be a little bit more minimal. Okay, if that's just the launcher into Firefox, or launch into the web browser, which in this case is Firefox. Can we accept that? I don't know, what, what do you guys think? It's just a launcher here. It's not like they were tracking before with the Unity launcher. And talking about tracking, that was what I was kind of looking for really, because uh, that was something I mentioned, and I'll put a link to the video here. So, uh, it was the, the tracking that Canonical were going to be doing about what people were doing with the Ubuntu installer, what they were doing with it what their system was and how long the installer took, with the possible intention of just learning a bit more about the systems that people are putting it on, rather than a necessary tracking of everything that's going on, but you heard my views on it, I would rather just stop any tracking straight away. I'd just, just flat out say no, and don't let these simple little requests build up into something more. Anyway, look, here we have the Software Center Evolution. So, Evolution evolution doesn't actually appear to be installed. We have the option to install it. Oh, what can I say, really? Uh, I know I managed to make a full-blown system review out of KD Neon on more than one occasion. In this case, I, I don't think we really need to. It is still a beta release, so perhaps things will change in the next month or so. Uh, actually, one thing I will look at is the setup options. Is that here? So, what do we say? System, system utilities, no, uh, settings. Honestly, I, I am a little bit out of it. Um, yeah. Oh, that's a... Oh, okay. I must have just clicked twice or something. Yeah, that, that was the full list I was expecting. 
background. Oh, nothing's changed on wallpapers yet. At least I don't think it has. I'm going to have to go back and refresh my mind about what the Ubuntu 17.10 release was actually like. Because yeah, I pretty much picked this up and thought, have I picked up Ubuntu 17.10 instead by accident? And no, no, it just looks like that very little has changed. There's been some changes under the hood. The installer is supposed to be a bit faster nowadays, 10% faster. According to an article I was reading on OMG Ubuntu, it is a lossless compression that they've taken from Facebook. 10% less compression offered, but 10% speed improvement over the likes of gzip and bzip. Actually, was bzip mentioned? I think gzip certainly was. And there seems to be the better protection for the Spectre meltdown exploits. I noticed mention of those on terminal screen at boot up. Oh look, we have scaling options, 100% or, 100 or 200%, and the night light option. That's it, that's all I want to go through. I'll do a proper review later on. So that was a look at the Ubuntu minimal option on the installer, which certainly is minimal, but not as minimal as I would expect. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.